Facing demands for changes to bail laws from Mayor Adams and many other elected officials, Governor Hochul doubles down, insisting judges already have the tools to put criminals away. But is she right? CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer here now with that story. Marsha? Well, Christine and Dick, she's a governor seeking re-election who admitted today she can't call a special section of the legislature to modify the bail laws because lawmakers would just gavel in and gavel out and go home without doing anything. So instead, Kathy Hochul went on the offensive. District attorneys, do your jobs. Judges, do your jobs. And then we start having a change in the trajectory of where we are right now. Governor Hochul was on the hot seat, holding a show and tell news conference, a cache of illegal guns the state police have confiscated, a day after Mayor Adams demanded changes to the bail laws that have allowed a rogues gallery of bad guys to roam the streets of the city. Ten worst of the worst crooks who have amassed 485 arrests in the two years since bail reform took effect. Every one of the cases that Mayor Adams talked about in his press conference yesterday I agree with him 1,000% that they never should have been let out, none of them. And here's the good news for going forward and a message to the judges, every one of them was bail eligible, every single one of them could have been held by judges using their discretion. The debate breaks down to this. Mayor Adams wants judges to be able to consider dangerousness in setting bail like 49 other states. The governor says lawmakers tightened the laws a few months ago, making more crimes bail eligible and giving judges additional discretion. She says judges need to read up on the law. I took the issue to criminal defense lawyer David Schwartz, a former assistant district attorney in Brooklyn. When the governor says today, that the judges have the ability to hold all kinds of people on bail because of their past crimes and whatever. Is she right? She's not right because you have automatic, uh, you have automatic uh, release on your own recognizance when it comes to almost all crimes, except for the very serious violent crimes. The idea that you cannot consider the danger to the community, no matter what crime, the person commits it could be a, a it could be a, a turnstile jumping case that person could be very dangerous and that has to be considered on every single case meanwhile house minority leader kevin mccarthy accompanied by congresswoman nicole maliotakis and republican lieutenant governor candidate allison esposito had a high profile meeting with the city police union leaders esposito slammed the bail laws that freed the man who attacked her running mate lee zeldin and McCarthy backed her up. The charge assault two should be eligible for bail if a judge is given the discretion to weigh the seriousness of the offense and the past history. Now, McCarthy told the cop unions that if Lee Zeldin and Allison Esposito get elected, they will bring a new direction to law enforcement in this city. Meanwhile, Zeldin launched a repeal cashless bail petition drive for New Yorkers to sound off. Dick and Christine. All right, Marsha, thanks very much.